Uh, hi guys, welcome back to J and H in the Comic Waste. With me today is Johnny. Oh, yeah. just because I'm, 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 I'm Jay, just because Joe's not here. So. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and we're gonna be doing Saga issue number thirty-nine by so. Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. I mean, if you don't know that by now, I mean, I mean, why people, even bother? People might not even read Saga yet. Fine, fine. There's fine, a possibility. Fine, fine. fine. Rewind the last man while you're at it. Yeah. Anyway, Ex Machina as well. Yes. Two credits. Roll that beautiful Roll that shit. I love like you know each issue usually starts off like the same thing like one big old page spread yeah. and it's like just like just and this time it's curdy saying like freeze or put uh, or uh, I'm a war crime you in the face like you know it, it's pretty it's pretty funny it kind of I feel like it's a bit of foreshadowing yeah. and if, especially what's gonna go go on in the future exactly. so um that was pretty funny uh and then like you see like he, like one of the other ferret mongoose yeah I don't know mongoose is it I don't know what's the pl what's the plural of mong I don't I don't, I don't know. know these weird creatures mongooses yeah. mongooses I don't know I don't, I don't really <laughs> uh so like yeah uh Curdy has the rifle and like the one of the little girl was like, oh, if you uh, let me hold it, I'll let you hold on to, I'll let you put it with my uh, dead man goggles. Yeah, like some visor or something she found. And stuff like that. And she like, he's, Curry's like, okay, cool. And like the little girl shoots it, was able to shoot the rifle. She's like, oh. And then like, that's when Alana comes out like, what the fuck are you guys doing? It's like, oh. Alana and he's like, ooh, said, she cursed, ooh. Alana said a bad word. And then fast forward to Hazel. And then, um. Uh, she doesn't feel Isabel anymore. Right, you could um, refer back to our previous issue of, for issue 38 just to see what kind of happens to Isabel. Yeah. Um, Pinto Bart tells Marco, like, yeah. Um, like, yeah, I kind of sent down on a recon mission to, you know, kind of scout out the area from you. Yeah, like, you know. Robot, he's like, oh. He's like, oh? Yeah. What did you do? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, she volunteered to go check out one of my old embassies. Like, why would you do that? It doesn't matter. She's dead. Yeah, like, like she can't die again. Like exactly. Could she? Well, and never mind the book that he was reading. It was uh, "Let's Do Lust" <laughs> by uh, yeah, like D. Oswald Heist, like the guy. And if he's a recurring like, well, a recurring topic in, in the yeah, because he was a character. He's like H.P. Lovecraft before yeah. Lust. <laughs> yeah, like, let's do lust, and like so simple, and it's like it's funny. It Pick up funny. things like that. Because if you guys remember from last time. He's having like these weird thoughts, you know, these like crazy sexual thoughts about Alana and all these people. So it's no surprise that he's reading that book. Mm. Uh, so then Petrichor volunteers yeah. to, to go out there. And Marco's like, oh, what if some, like you did as many tours as I did. Like, you know, what if someone recognizes you? It's like, like oh, I don't, I don't, I'll, just, I'll just pretend. Well, no, it, she said like, oh, it won't be an issue, which probably refers to like, you know, at that time, uh, she was a he still. Yeah, exactly. So they won't recognize yeah. They probably won't recognize her. So, exactly. You know. Then goes back to our favorite mercenary, the Will. The Will. The Will. This is the best part. Uh, we find out his real name. Oh, that and like he's like it looks like he's smoking like a bowl or like it's something like a combination of a bong and like a hookah thing. <laughs> yeah. He's... And like and like there's a a girl by his side and that's when Irv, his agent, calls him. Yeah. And it's like oh. Yeah. Uh, you not you haven't been taking any jobs, man. Don't think like the union doesn't like recognize like what you're doing. You're slacking off and stuff like that. It's like, dude, you're fired. And like, oh what? You're you're firing me? And like, yeah, and like that's when like a boyfriend husband of like the girl that he's with comes in. Yeah, I don't know. Starts don't know. a fight while he's still on the phone with Irv, his agent. Yeah, he's like, oh. And like then he tried to get to he tried to work his, his lance. Yeah. And like oh it's like oh you've been decommissioned as soon as they like you know you can't use your weapons and also yeah you can't really kill anybody anymore so I would stay away from like these shady areas and then that's and, when they like, he's like getting the shit kicked out of him. yeah so he ends up ripping off the dude's horn and like stabbing him in the shoulder yeah and, and then like, <laughs> and then like oh yeah uh good you're, luck. you're fired and uh oh the will oh sorry I mean Billy hey, good luck Billy. <laughs> like, Billy which is yeah it's it's funny just because like you know what if like you know the brand was like, named like Brenda Brandy exactly, like you know yeah. like the march and like the lights and the fluke it's all the, these all these the names most mundane name ever yeah. Billy like a fucking like blue power ranger but I mean like it kind of it makes sense because like, will you know, William yeah exactly so it does yeah. it did make sense <laughs> I thought it was just funny it's just like laying there like good luck Billy like, like uh, your name's Billy <laughs> damn 
Uh, and then that's it, now it goes back to Hazel. And Curdy. And Curdy. Like, you know, Hazel's, like, she's getting to that age where, like, you know, she doesn't believe in fairy like, in tales. Yeah. Fairy tales. Like, the after, like, she starts questioning about, like, afterlife and, like, paradise and stuff like that just because, like, you know, she doesn't believe in, like, the feather fairy. Yeah, she's, yeah. Fairy yeah. feather. Yeah, right. Yeah, she's growing up quick. Yeah. Like, way too quick. And Curdy's, like, still kind of in the naive age. Well, he still kind of believes it just because, like, oh, well, like, how how would Isabel, like, pick up, like, how she pick up yeah, yeah, like, yeah. She can't even. Yeah, she can't even do things like that. I mean, it's a good point. Valid. It's a fair but point. But yeah, like, uh, Hazel snaps at him. Like, and then, like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to snap, but all right, I'm going to kiss you. And he's like, on the mouth? And, like, yeah, that, was, the, that, was, that was Hazel's first kiss. With Curdy. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And, so, I mean, obviously, like, we're, we're telling you all this, but it, it, visually speaking, it's like, it's it's better. It's like a big deal because, you know, now in the world we live in, you know, you see two men together, two women together, or, or you know, transgender, with, with, you know, and that's, and, and, and this, all this translates into this comic book because the way they show it here is Curtis not, is not just like humans, but like. Curtis the ferret and like right. Hazel's a, a mix. Like sentient, of... like sentient what would be animals with with people that are more humanoid and right. you know that doesn't that that doesn't matter which i mean should you know that, that's the way it should you know yeah um so that's kind of cool you know obviously brian bond is his it's a hell of a writer so he knows how to like if you know, staples the, 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 is like, putting in everything like right like between the, I, I mean, can only imagine what like he puts on the script and like she's like he's like oh shit <laughs> <laughs> like you know he's like all right i gotta do this like you know no, it's, it's awesome, right? Because, like, if, if you had the chance to read Why the Last Man, like, the reason all that happened was because, like, he actually talked to his wife about that. His wife's like, oh, but you're missing, like, the point of, you know, politics and all this stuff. Like, how would it be across the world and if, if all men died suddenly? And, you know, this thing was born. And then Saga is, is kind of the, the same thing where he goes on these, on these, I mean, I, I don't know what his thought process is exactly, but damn, you know, it's shit's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I mean, he, like, the best stuff that like i mean i've read like in the last few years has been like a lot of brian k vaughn stuff like yeah why the last man saga saga is like just like this like, juggernaut of a book yeah that's people, out I mean, right, like right everybody now. everybody it's very recognizable everybody knows it and even people that don't read comic books just will always come back for for like brian k i know i know for a fact like most of my friends that are not into comic books started with why the last man and i told them hey he's writing saga you take a look oh fuck yeah no worries of yeah. course you know it, it, it sells you like it definitely like it sells itself pretty much and you're like you're hooked instantly hooked he did a, he did a run on uh runaways right as yep. well like he was like yeah, the, done, like the first things. the first two arcs I were really so. yeah he's done stuff for for ultimate x-men he's done stuff for for runaways he's done stuff for like batman and wonder woman and never mind then he saved lost from going under like he when like yep he was lost the, yep he helped write lost as well because like when lost was like in that influx phase like he came in and like that's when he got good again i yeah. never i never saw lost lost yeah. it was just a yeah, rumor no. is uh, that true yep 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 oh uh, but back to saga yes. so now um petrichor is actually leaving the group now and like you know alana is like oh uh take the rifle take this with you yeah. bl48 the she's, rifle she's like fuck that like, <laughs> like she don't like and also like you might need that more because you have to protect like your family and like your your house up with like these ferret mongoose creatures like you know she's like she's still on this whole thing about the land Folians versus reef i guess yeah and, like or now that they're actually on, like on the comment like it could go to shit like real quick like, yeah i can take a turn for the worst and, and when that's when we find like uh the march storming in through the embassy goddamn march and like they it i don't like should we count them as like one that should well, count as one person we should just say the brand or well, the march or the march the, the brand the will yeah we should just so talk like about uh, the name because we're not really sure so they kind of figure out that it might have been like an inside job yeah the inside it does, the, it does seem like it because they find like the corpses of all like the embassy workers there right and like it's no magic it looks like you know like robot cannons that did all them in yeah so then they find the ambassador and like the ambassador is like torn in half like guts he's coming he's out. Lower half, yeah. yeah. And he's like, oh, like, can you get me like that bottle of ju uh, juniper or something like that? Juniper, or something, yeah. something like that. And like, it's like, yeah, for you, could, if you well, tell us. Yeah, you <laughs> tell you tell us what happened. He's like, oh, typical typical mercenaries trying to get information from us. It was um, price. So it turns out, like, yeah, like they like the ambassador and like his team like found out like this whole like plot. It's like they're gonna they we're gonna exterminate the whole, every living thing on the comet. Right. And then that's when like the March, the issue ends with like the March trying to figure out like who, like, you know, was it like uh, 
the robots, the horns, or the wings. Yeah. And stuff like that, and then like you know, the ambassador dies, and it's like, oh, I just want to see. I want like, to see how they drink. Yeah, <laughs> it so, was. Um, so some shit's like about to. Yeah, come it's down it's hard. the calm before the storm. It's just like. So like, the, 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 this comet is, is constantly on turmoil, anyways. But I guess the whole plan is to like just just clean it out, wipe ex, it clean, exit exit out, pretty much. So no. we don't know. How, honestly, we're not even sure who's gonna do it. Like, yeah, we still don't know. It could be like the. Well, certainly not the mercenaries. Cause no, because they, like, they have no idea what the fuck's yeah. going on. So uh, so we'll find out. If it's either the robots, the wings, or the horns. Yeah. yeah if you're not reading, you're totally missing out. It's this is one of those books that you just pick up. Even, like, hell, it, it was probably good even as, a, as an actual novel, maybe. Without, yeah. I mean, without pictures, it wouldn't be the same, but it would still, like, hold its own. Definitely. As, as, a, as a novel. So, you know, give it a chance. Give it a try. Thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Yes. I'm Jay for now until Joe comes by and then we'll figure that Remember out. JJ once. and H. Yeah. <laughs> um, until next time then, guys. See you soon. Thank you so much.